okay so let's go ahead and add the effects for that you will have to open up your shooting controller then right here at the top add a header by the name of just effects and in here we're gonna create a reference to a particle system because our blood effect and muscle flesh effect is of type particle system so let's name this as muzzle flash and then another particle system which will be of the name blood effect so for playing the muzzle flash or muzzle effect what we're gonna do right here is now instead of this comment we're gonna say muzzle flash dot play simple as that and then for the blood effect what we're gonna do is as you know that we will be showing the blood effect to the player that is shooting and to all the other players so for that we're gonna create a method right here after the shoot name it as uh, fun rpc this will be rpc underscore shoot and this will take a vector 3 by the name of hit point and vector 3 by the name of hit normal as a parameter okay and we're gonna pass the hit point and hit normal okay these two we're gonna pass it right here but now first of all let's play the effect actually let's first of all pause pass these two things so right here after this apply damage just simply type view dot rpc and in here pass the method name which is rpc underscore shoot and we're gonna show the blood effect to all of the players so we're gonna say rpc dot target dot all and let's pass the hit point oops hit point and then the hit normal okay now when we pass that right here now in here what we're gonna do we're gonna play the blood effect at the hit point okay so we're gonna say particle system blood and it will be equals to instantiate we want to instantiate the blood effect at the hit point and uh, from which direction we hit we want to show the blood effect on that direction for example if uh, this is the other player okay and we uh, hit the player from this direction then we want the blood effect to be shown in this direction okay like this okay so in order to do that we're gonna type quatronian dot look rotation and we're gonna pass the hit normal so it gonna show it on the normal of the game object then of course we want to destroy this uh, blood effect after some time or when the duration of the blood effect uh, finish so for that we're gonna say destroy blood dot game object and then we're gonna say blood dot main dot duration okay and I think we are now good to go right here you just need to make this RPC target 
krpc underscore target dot all actually it is uh, rpc target dot all i don't know why i typed that okay so now if we click on resource photo and prefab double click on the player to open it up we need to provide the particle system so let me lock this and click on unity technologies then weapon effect then prefabs here is the blood effect so drag and drop the blood effect then we have the muzzle flash drag and drop that and then we can just play the game okay so here is our game for so if we shoot as you can see we can't see our muzzle flash effect and i know why we are not seeing that but now if we shoot the player as you can see it is showing the blood effect i know what blood effect is not that uh, beautiful looking but if you want you can select uh, any other blood effect from this package okay let's test it from this side so if we shoot as you can see it is showing the blood effect and on this one the blood effect was looking a little bit bigger so we need to fix that as well for that just simply stop the game and select your blood effect and make the start size as 0.2 okay and now in order to fix the muzzle flash problem for that you will have to open up your player again okay and right here we have added this muzzle flash so if you double click on the player where it is the player body okay here it is we need to uh, move this muzzle flash effect to the uh, rifle so here is our rifle in the rifle drag and drop the muzzle flash effect okay if we play it we are not able to see it so let me delete it and drag and drop it inside the player now click on tommy mesh copy the tommy mesh transform click on the muzzle flash effect and click on paste component values now it is still doing the same problem let me increase the start size and now as you can see we are able to see it okay so it was due to the start size let's make it 100 and now here it is okay let's move its forward vector in the forward direction like this okay and you can just leave it there okay so as you can see it is playing all right so when you do this now we can add it inside the tommy gun mesh again plate as you can see it is playing perfectly fine then click on the player and now instead of this we're gonna drag and drop our muzzle flash effect like this okay and you can actually click on prefab and unpack completely as well can okay, make sure that then you drag and drop it that is all we need to do now the blood effect was looking good and now let's test the muzzle flash effect right so now here it is now as you can see it is showing the muzzle flash effect perfectly fine and the blood effect will be working perfectly fine as well as you saw in the uh, first try okay so now we have uh, the player rotating we have the crosshair we have the muzzle flash effect and we have the blood effect as well so everything is looking perfectly fine and with this done let's end this video right here